Now, next word is anfosakum. Okay. So let's first finish this one. Surely you and then he's saying you did wrong. Then he is further saying anfosakum. Okay? So anfosakum is from these letters noon, fa, and seen. And nafsun is the noun. Nafsun means self. Nafsun means self. Okay? It's plural is anfosun anfosun means selves plural of self in english is selves okay and the word after that if i put kum kum means you so in English you can say yourselves. Okay. You have done wrong to yourselves. Okay. Or your own selves. You have done wrong to yourself. So he's reminding that whatever you have done, it is going to be harmful to you, not to others. Okay. You have done wrong to yourselves. So first thing is, is pointing out that they have done something wrong okay, by in the, in the first three words. After that, he is using two more words, and this is specifying what was the wrong thing that they did. Okay, is the action, what wrong thing they did. So that's next two words. Okay. Okay, so let's first write down separately B and Ittehazun and then Kum. So these are actually, I'm going to put a plus sign, these are separately independent words. B is one word, one letter. Ittehazun is another word. And kum is the third word. And by when we read them together, then it will sound the way it is in the Quran. kum. But separately, these are the words okay, which compose this one word. Okay. Now, B here can be translated as by. There are many meanings of be, by, with, of. You have to see how in English you can translate. And we'll see why I chose the be here as by. Also notice that B is a harfajar, and harfajar has some effect on the next word. Okay? And kum is a word that is constantly keep coming. So we'll combine that. A middle word, ittehazun. Okay? It has a root two types of roots dictionaries and grammar point out that scholars say that this this word has two roots alif kha and za or ta kha and za okay <clears throat> but this is the root which fits better for this word okay but we'll see how it, it does okay so if it is, take these three letters, ta, ha, and zal, the meaning of this is to take or to adopt something or to draw something. Okay? But this is not the 
word, we need another word which is bigger than that. Okay. So let's not this one. Okay. So these are the three root letters. Okay. And because they are three letters, they belong to the bab which is called bab e faala. Okay. Three letters always we call they belong to the group of the words which is faala. Okay. By adding few more letters here, we make a bigger word. Okay. So in this case, we add two letters, an alif and a ta. And we keep the middle three letters like that, <coughs> and and lam. Okay. So this is called if taala, and we have seen that many words come by adding these two letters. Okay, <coughs> if taala. So if I do the same thing <coughs> here in, in in this case, alif and ta. And keep these letters. So you have alif, ta, ta, ha, and zal. Itta khaza. Itta khaza means to take something. Itta khaza means to take something, to adopt something, to choose something. So this word is written as itta khaza. Takhaza means to take. Simple meaning is to take something. But this taking is by choice. If you choose something, you adopt something. That is the meaning of taking. It is not like that. I am taking something from here and keeping it. But in my life style, I am adopting something. I am selecting something for me. Okay. So it takhaza. Ittekhazun means taking. It's a noun. By taking. Um, to me, it seems like by taking, um, by making the choice. Looks like the, it. Right, but by adopting, by choosing, by selecting. Right. Yes. It is not that you physically pick something and walk away. It's right. not that take. Right. But you have taken by your choice something that you want to work on right. or live on. What does that call? Hmm? What does the root letter mean? Oh, this means to draw. To draw. Like when you say, draw the conclusion. Right, right. Natija achs. Right, right. Oh, okay. Okay. So that is to draw. Okay. Like a conclusion, drawing a conclusion. But here, ittekhazun means taking. Okay. And kum means you. <clears throat> okay. So now we have three words. The meaning is you by taking. Okay. You by taking something. So when you combine these, when ittekhazun and kum you combine, one dumma goes away. It becomes ittekhazu. And B is a herfijer, it will change Dhamma to Kasra, it will become Ittekhazi. Okay, then that's what the word is in the Quran. When you combine, this alif is not spoken, so it becomes Bittekhazi Kum. By your taking, by you taking it, or by your choosing, or by your adopting, Bittekhazi Kum. So is this clear that this this alif is not pronounced because you're combining ba with the ta? So alif becomes hamzatul wasal, and that is the sign of hamzatul wasal. So these three letters by combination become bittekhazikum. By you choosing, you have done wrong by your action of choosing or adopting or taking something. And what is that you have taken? Al Ejila, the baby cow. Okay, this word has come before, means the calf. 
the baby cow that they made with the gold. So by taking that as your God, he is not pointing out in this ayat that what have you done with that. Okay, but in the previous ayahs, it is clear that by taking this calf as your deity to worship, you have done something very wrong. So he's pointing out their mistake. Okay. So by taking by your taking Al Islam is the calf. Now, so let's look. So this is the mistake or the error they have done. He's pointing to them that this is what you have done wrong. Okay. Is there any reason why they choose a calf instead some other animals? What the reason is that calf or the cow in many many nations have been the center of worship. A lot of nations did worship cow. Egyptians did that. Coptics did that. Indians do that. And then many other places, cow is regarded something very sacred because it's a provision, provides the food and milk and everything. So they they submit to this animal so much they start worshiping him or her. Was it before when Allah <coughs> asked them to uh, sacrifice a cow? Right, because they were they, Bani Israel were in love with the cow. Bani Israel also loved it. But when they migrated from Egypt to Palestine, there were other nations who were living, pagans and, and uh, who other worshippers. They had, some of them were also worshipping cows. So cow was something that has been regarded as a very sacred animal. And, they, and so, they are, so, so their magician, Samri did that. He, he suggested to them and he made a cow. So other people were worshipping. And as, as a matter of fact, um, Bani Israel said to Musa alayhi salam, when he, they saw some people, so he said, make a God just like these people are worshipping for us so we can worship that God. They asked Musa al-Islam, even before this happened. So it, it's the nature of the human being that if it strays, it strays all the way. Do you have a question? What I was wondering is that, um, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked to sacrifice the cow, not the mm. goat or... Something mm -hmm. so might be something related to that. Why? No, but this this was before or after this uh, this incident. After? Uh, no, this this happened uh, before. Before. Yeah. Okay, so then he is suggesting a solution. First, he is pointing that you have done wrong. That he is suggesting a solution by saying "fatubu ila bari kum." He is he is saying these three words again. Fatubu ila barikum. This is still the speech of Musa alayhi salam. He says, Fatubu ila barikum. So he is in three words. <coughs> Making a suggest, su suggesting a solution for their wrongdoing or transgression. Okay. The first word is fatubu. It is starts with the root letters ta, wa, and ba, and this means to turn. Okay. Simple meaning is to turn. Okay. In the religious terminology, this means turn with repentance. Turn by asking forgiveness. Turns to repent. Okay? So this is what the tawbah, the word tawbah that we use. Fa means so, it's a separate word. So, and then the word is tubu. Tubu is a command. Turn. If you are saying to many people, Tubu, you are saying turn. Okay? 
return. Turned with repentance. Okay. Ela means to. Turn to. So turn to. Okay. The next word is also made of two parts. Bari and kum. Okay. So the, the word bari is from these letters. Ba, ra and hamza. One of the meaning is to create. Ba, ra and hamza means to create. Okay. How is it different from khalaq? The creator. Probably the same. So this means to create. Now, if we also know that if you have any three letters and we put an alif in between the first and the second letter, such as the, it becomes the doer file. Okay. So if we do the same thing here, put an alif between these ba, alif, ra, and write that. Ba ri un. Ba ri un means creator, the doer. Ba ri taala we say creator, Allah subhanahu wa taala we say. For in the in the many places the word ba ri comes, that means the creator. So ba ri un means creator. No, that's calf in there. That's there are other meanings. Bari means to become free also. Okay. But one of the meanings is to create. So, Bari, now when you combine <coughs> Bari, Un, and Kum, one Dhamma goes away, and Ila is a Harfijar again. So that makes Dhamma to a Kasra. So that is become bari e. From bari o, it becomes. It's very standard rules in the Quran. You know, once we understand what harfijar does, and when you combine a noun and pronoun, what happens? Always kum is a pronoun, means you. Bari un is the word which is noun. When you combine a noun and pronoun, one dumma goes away. If there is a harfijar, dumma changes to a kasra. So the word become bari un becomes bari kum. Your creator. Turn with repentance to your creator. <clears throat> now say, well, actually he is using a very, very <coughs> pointed word here. He is not using the word rab or Allah or anything. He is using the word creator compared to that kaf. That was created. That calf or baby cow was created. So something that was created, against that is the one who creates everything. You go back to him who created you. Leave the one that was created by a magician. Go back to the one who created you. So that's the reason he's using the word bari from your creator. Okay, this calf is definitely not your creator, so why are you worshipping him? Okay. So, fatubu ila barikum, make tawbah, go back with repentance to your creator. Okay. So, turn to your creator. 